hour with a strong, strong tag team. Kayla Vinka, their return to Ring of Honor. The Canadian tag team of Burns and Asylum, the Flatliners, they're back in Ring of Honor. This is tag team match. It's the Bruin Paul, team number one, and a combined weight of 481 pounds, the Footliners! So it will be the Flatliners taking on their mantra, honor dies. Very, very dark, dark chapter is unfolding before us here in Ring of Honor. Their opponents, at a combined weight of 506 pounds, the team of Steve Carino and the Man Beach Rhino. Carino, Rhino against the Flatliners. Let's go to the tail of the tape where you can see Hey, the Flatliners are no joke, but they are giving up a ton of experience to the Man Beast and Steve Carino. Could forget about the code of honor from Rhino. He only shakes hands if there's a $100 bill in it. Referee Gino Colucci is going to ask for the code of honor, but there is no honor on the side of evil. Look at Burns getting right back in the face of Carino and shoving him off. Bell sounds were underway. So we lock up Colin Elbow Burns, his tag team partner Asylum, the Flatliners. I understand you had a chance to talk briefly with Carino earlier today. What did he have to say? Well, Carino, well, but besides making fun of me and all that jazz, he managed to tell me that Ooh. this relationship between himself and Rhino, if we look back in the history books, it's not really about business. It's very personal between the two. Asylum's in, good double teaming there and a near fall score. Of course, Carino and Rhino, they met in the land of extreme over 15 years ago. Well, the reason that Rhino is in professional right. wrestling is because of Steve Carino. A little thing called the network. Well, now with Asylum seemingly inspired by Carino trying to make a tag. Instead, it's Burns who's tagged in. Burns two. tags in, only gets two. Swing and a miss from Carino. Whoa! Inverted atomic drop. Great kick there. Uh, Rhino's had enough. Yep. The missionary of scum taking down Burns. There's a lot of questions about what Nigel McGuinness is going to do, what he's going to say. Is he going to demand the television title back? Will Matt Hardy acquiesce? We know Matt Hardy is here. And we understand he does have possession of the television title as the Man Beast goes to town on Burns here in the corner. You know, we're also gonna see in-ring action with Grizzly Redwood, who we always enjoy seeing here on the broadcast. But of course, our main event, the Briscoes defending the World Tag Team titles against Haas and Benjamin. Charlie Haas put his foot in his mouth recently in Milwaukee. Basically said he, in not so many words, that he would swear on the team of wrestling's greatest tag team that they could beat the Briscoes if Nigel McGuinness would give them one more shot at the gold. That gave McGuinness the idea. Charlie Haas backed into a corner, put all his chips in. And now the matchup happens this week. It's been long awaited fans, but it happens in the hour as Carino sets up Burns and delivers the Colby shot. One, two, no. Not enough to keep down Burns. The Flatliners were last seen in 2010 at Epic Encounter 3 when they took on the original House of Truth tag team, Christian Abel and Josh Raymond, managed by Truth Martini. Yeah, a lot of controversy about Truth Martini. Yeah. As uh, now Rhino comes in. Of course, fans, if you did not have the opportunity to see the 11th anniversary event live, or if you joined us live in Chicago Ridge and you want to relive it once again, the replay is available at ROHWrestling.com as Rhino delivers a hard right hand to Burns. Oosh. Rhino, a 17-year veteran in professional wrestling, 
plenty of gas left in the tank of the war machine, as we can clearly see here. But Matt Burns put, uh, putting up a fight. Huge clothesline taking down Rhino. Well, Rhino's knocked down, but Burns has got to make a tag. Asylum's on the apron. He's enthused. He's ready to go. Can he reach out and tag his Flatliner's partner? Rhino tags Carino, and here comes Asylum. The big bull, the charging knee strike to the face. Irish whip into the ropes. Ducks down Carino, hits him with a boot. Bare arm lariat, no. Swing and a miss with the left one, no. Waist lock. Oh, what a combination, lung blower German, two almost. Textbook flat liners offense, highly regarded for their powerful double team maneuvers. That was one of them that they use on the regular. We might see another one right here. Going to the neutral corner, but Rhino's not gonna sit there and allow this. Uh-oh. Burns gets Here's the setup. Set Gore! 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 That's gonna do it. The winners of the match, the team of Steve Carino and Rhino! You have to wonder, Carino's prophecy is it unfolding before our very eyes? There's the replay. Carino set Rhino up for the kill. The gore, gore, gore. Carino picks up the scraps. How will things change as we go forward here in Ring of Honor? And what will Nigel McGinnis do with Matt Hardy in the television title? Fans will find out next.